Hi, my name is Kevin Williams. I work for JDSU, and I'll be your host today going over some of the HST 3000's functionality, primarily focusing on the copper. Today we'll be focusing on some basic copper testing. Thanks for joining us. Before we get started, let's take another quick walk around the unit. On the back of the unit, you guys probably know them as modules. We call them SIMs, or Service Interface Modules. We're talking today about the copper module. You can tell it's copper by the connectors located on the bottom. You have primary tip and ring, or A and B, depending upon the region of the world you're in. Those are black and red. Green is ground. Secondary tip and ring are blue and yellow. As we step through the HST 3000 today, I think you'll find that it's a very easy test set to run. One of the things we'll do today is show you shortcuts on how to speed up operation. For instance, if I know the HST is going to take 20 or 25 seconds to boot up, I get into the habit of powering it up as I exit the truck, so that by the time I get to the terminal, it's up on the main screen and ready to go. 99% of our users boot up into the standard copper measurements test list. You can see on my unit here, with the words copper measurements shown at the top with DVOM for digital boat ohmmeter listed underneath. When I was being trained I was taught to shoot trouble in a logical fashion. That logical fashion was based on using an analog volt ohmmeter and it went something like this. AC volts first, DC volts second, then I would check for resistive faults which included shorts and grounds followed by a capacitive kick which is located under the opens meter, looking for cable length and general balance of the pair. So we'll mimic those first four tests in the next four sessions as a starting point for using the HST to test copper. That concludes this video segment focusing on the introduction to copper. On behalf of JDSU, I'd like to thank you for your time.